We are excited to be here now with Academy Award winner Kate Winslet. She's now starring as war photojournalist Lee Miller in Lee. Kate, good morning to you. Yeah. Welcome to GMA. <laughs> saying before the cameras came to us, I was like, I've got everybody to do this. Get everybody. I feel so special. You are. Thank you well, for Well, you show up. We all got to come out of the dressing rooms and be here on <laughs> set with you. And, um, you know, let's talk about Lee. Let's get right into it. You're, you, you, this was inspired in part, you were inspired to make this movie in part by something that was a little bit unusual. A yes. table? Yes. So in 2015, I have some friends who work for an auction house and they'd researched a very interesting table that had come in. And my friend knows how much I appreciate cooking and feasting with family. And she called me and she said, Kate, this extraordinary table, you've, you, you've got to bid on it. And I said, well, tell me. And it was in the holiday home of the Penrose family. And Roland Penrose was Lee Miller's lover during mm. the time that our film is set, played by Alex Skarsgård in our film. And uh, they then married and had a whole life together. But Lee and Roland would spend summers, and this would be the table with all of their surrealist friends and artists. And this was the table Lee would prepare the food at, and they would eat at the table. Did you get the table? I got the table. <laughs> I got the table. The, film. <laughs> the table is not in the film. <laughs> but I got the table and uh, and I sat at it and I thought to myself, wow. Lee Miller, I wonder why no one's made a film about her. And that was how it began. Oh, wow. And then I went and met her son, Anthony Penrose, who's in his 70s now, who has devoted his life since her death to upholding her memory and kind of coming to understand her, actually, after she passed away, because she hid all of her negatives and photographs boxed up in the attic and never mm. talked of it, because so many people who witnessed World War II and were part of that conflict had terrible PTSD, which, which mm. Lee absolutely did. But she was a phenomenal character, phenomenal woman. Let's take a look at a clip. Oh, goodness. Stop, stop, please. You must have. These are mine. I took them. I decide what happens to them. Please. Stop, 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 stop. stop. They're an historical record. Well, who cares? Nobody saw them. You didn't print them. She was such a legend. And you not only star in this film, you also produce it. And quite an odyssey to get it to the screen. What, nine years? Yes, it was it was nine years, but 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 happily so. You know, I must say the sort of first four to five years was really spent with our two female writers creating the story and the narrative around this decade that we cover in the film, which I feel was her most defining time and how she would have most wanted to be remembered. Because if you were to Google Lee Miller, certainly when I did this in 2015, former muse and lover of Man Ray, ex cover girl, Vogue model. So I wanted to lift her out of that male gaze. She was a model for a snippet of her life and she didn't like being a model and she famously mm. said I'd rather take a picture than be one and so that was the beginning of her journey in becoming a photographer and stepping behind the lens and inventing, creating a job for herself as war correspondent for British Vogue when women were not allowed mm -hmm. into the conflict zones and were not allowed in any areas of danger and Lee was determined to go and bear witness and to be that visual voice mm. for the victims of conflict with a female eye. And that's what really sets her work apart. And I do think, you know, without people like Lee Miller, how would we know now, really, what, what happens to those victims? She wasn't photographing the soldiers and the bloodshed. She was photographing into those dark corners what happens to the women and the children and the innocent people. And as we sadly know, the millions and millions of missing. Mm. She was there to document that, too. Your yeah. passion is evident. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, and thank you for this. And it took almost a decade, as George said. What did, what did you learn from? What did you personally learn from her? What I learned from Lee, quite honestly, was that, as women, we we have to keep going. You have to keep going because you can and you must. And just never take no for an answer. Honestly, I really learned that as well. Mm. She was already redefining femininity 80 years ago to mean resilience and power and togetherness and compassion and things that, I mean, I, we live our lives like that now. And it's how we're raising our daughters and how we are in our friendships. And, uh, and that was who Lee Miller was. And, and just that belief that it was important to 
revealed the hidden truth, that powerful streak of injustice that she carried. It made her formidable, and mm -hmm. and I, and and I was yeah, I was absolutely inspired by her more than any character I've ever played. I, you I think. can hear it. Yeah. Your passion is there. We are so excited. Also, just want to say quickly, happy birthday. I know it's coming <laughs> up. Oh yes, <laughs> next week. Yeah. And everybody else, do something great. Leave the theaters this Friday. Check it out. Thank we'll you, right Kate. Back. Love Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.